Sak Pase. My name is Yamli Santana y Milzezia. Just like me, my name is a mixture of my mom's Puerto Rican Spanish and my dad's Haitian French Creole. It's a mixture of all the different people and cultures in my family. I'm also a mixture which is special and sometimes difficult. I used to dislike being Haitian. I felt like my eyes were too squinty and I didn't like my nose. I used to look at other people and feel like their faces are perfect. I didn't smile. I often stayed inside my room. I hated going to school because I would get bullied. It made it difficult to go to school and act like I was happy. I felt like all the classrooms were filled with people who would disrespect me. I never felt welcomed. People would say mean things about how I looked and about my weight. One of the hardest moments was in fourth grade when my mom cut off all my hair. I remember everything. The moment when she started cutting it, I felt a shock in my chest. I knew that I was going to have to go to school and face my fears and all the bullies. One student even got suspended for telling me that I looked like I had cancer. My hair meant everything to me. It was long, curly, wavy, and it ran all the way down my back and all of a sudden it was gone. Since those days, I have learned to love myself. I got more support from my parents and friends and I stayed away from social media and tried to think more positively. This has helped me gain my confidence throughout the months and the years of my life. I wanted to make this film for everyone to get to know me better. I wanted people to hear who I am. I wanted people to know that I'm here and I am different. In order to get to know me, I want you to see my cultures. I want you to see my family. I want you to see the flag of Haiti. I want you to hear the voices of my grandparents. My grandma's name is Sarah. She has short hair that is always well kept and gray. Like my mom, she likes to clean and is always thinking about my family. She is constantly worrying about me and my cousins. She is from Mayo West, Puerto Rico. Siempre le aconsejo que, que sea buena, que sea humilde. Que aunque yo sé que ella respeta a los mayores, pues que respete a su mamá y a los maestros, que se porte bien en la escuela, que estudie y se, y se haga, ella tenga una profesión. My grandfather is strong and religious. He was the minister in a church in North Philly for many years and now is retired. Que siga siempre como ella lo ha sido siempre, muy educada y respetuosa y que todo el mundo la quiere, que no se dañe. My grandparents have shown me how to be a respectful person and always be kind to others. One of the other things that has helped me to love myself or my friends. One time in the morning, we were hanging out in, in the corner having breakfast. My friend Siani wrote me a paragraph to me about how beautiful I was and, she, and how she likes being around me. I read it out loud and realized what people could actually think of me, that I'm beautiful, special, and even a good friend. I wanted to make this film for everyone to get to know me better. I want people to hear who I am. I want people to know that I'm here and I'm different. For anyone who is learning to love and accept themselves and where they come from, I don't want you to worry. Things will get better. Keep moving on to the future. Ask your mom, dad, and grandparents about what they went through and what was it like growing up. That way you'll understand that you're special and unique in your own ways. Not only because of who you are, but because of where you come from. Now my hair is curly, nappy, and beautiful. It springs out of my head like a forest. People have told me that they're inspired by it. It's rough trying to learn to love myself, but every day I'm trying.